Nephrogenic adenomas are benign lesions arising in the urothelium. They are also known as nephrogenic or mesonephroid metaplasia. They usually occur in adults with a ratio of approximately two male to one female. Approximately three quarters of them occur in the bladder, but they may also arise in areas such as the urethra, ureters and renal pelvis. Nephrogenic adenomas are usually associated with a history of trauma, often due to surgery or an indwelling urinary catheter. They may also be associated with calculi and infections, and nephrogenic adenomas sometimes arise in renal transplant patients. But it is thought that these occur as a result of exfoliated renal tubule cells implanting in denuded urothelium. Presenting symptoms of nephrogenic adenoma include hematuria and dysuria, but these are pretty much the same as the presenting symptoms of predisposing conditions such as infection and trauma. The majority of nephrogenic adenomas are less than one centimetre across. 20% of them are multiple, but 80% of them are solitary. They may have a papillary, sessile or polypoid growth pattern, and if they are papillary, they may clinically resemble a transitional cell carcinoma. Histologically, nephrogenic adenomas may have a papillary appearance, or they may be composed of solid microacinous structures resembling adenocarcinoma. The epithelial cells that nephrogenic adenomas are composed of typically have a cuboidal hobnail appearance. This biopsy was taken from the bladder in a patient being followed up for bladder cancer and this shows a papillary type of nephrogenic adenoma. You can see the papillae are lined by cuboidal cells. Here we can see a solid type of nephrogenic adenoma which does have a passing resemblance to adenocarcinoma. This nephrogenic adenoma looks even more worrisome with cells that have a signet ring appearance, again resembling adenocarcinoma. The take home message is to always bear the possibility of a nephrogenic adenoma in mind when looking at biopsies from patients with a history of instrumentation, trauma, calculi, infection, etc.